James Helder, Eiffel TV, in association with MTK Global. With me, I've got big heavyweight Alex Dickinson on his second professional yeah. outing, his second professional win. Congratulations, big man. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah. Thank you very much. Tell us, talk us a little bit through tonight's assignment. Uh, well, I got the phone call two weeks ago to box. Um, I was out away with uh, some friends, and uh, they come home, got a phone call, can you box? Um, I'm not going to say no on a massive girl like this. You know, the Furies, thanks very much, MTK, Frank, Frank Holland as well, you know, appreciate, appreciate everything mm -hmm. everyone's doing for me. And they got me good, good, tough opponents as well. Um, you know, he was 5 and up, um, four defeats, but his last one was a knockout. Um, he's not been stopped. And uh, the big lad and form, he got it done, didn't he, in the uh, third round, like, made up. Talk us through the shot that ended the fight. When did the referee think he had taken enough? What shot did you realise when the shot landed? What shot was it? Um, to be honest with you, I was looking at like, the, the, the floor of your punches. Um, I think I was throwing shot. I was bringing his hand down and throwing shot to the top of the head, well, to the side of the head. Um, and I think I, 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 Paul said that I took um, I threw off four punches, five punches, stepped off and stepped back in and threw a couple of more. And um, that was when the ref uh, waved it off. Like, he was cutting up as well, which was. We're getting a bit of a mess in there as well, you know what I mean? Got quite an exciting style and yeah, quite is. a good fan base as well, ah, coming from where you're yeah. from in Liverpool. Yeah. So hopefully we can see you progressing and moving on nicely, yeah. mate. Yeah, well, I say, I've, had, I've had two weeks notice on that and I've done 130 tickets. Um, it's amazing and like, to be honest with you, um, a lot of people couldn't get, out, couldn't get here at the moment. So um, to, get, to get 130, to probably half the people I could probably get as well. Made up with, you know. Um, I was quite surprised when we went to Belfast just how many people had came from Liverpool yeah, yeah. and London to see yourself pop. Yeah. Quite, quite good to be honest, I'm quite surprised because well, I'm, I'm a bit of a divvy and um, I'm surprised that people like me, you know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, now it's just it's, it's amazing and where I'm from, Formby, you know, I love Formby and you've got to open the, in the, uh, in the village and pull up there by ours. Mm. So, uh, Go back there tonight and see everyone who, who's watching on the telly. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, the MTK have got such a great array of talent, such a, so many fighters. No doubt there'll be some big MTK shows coming yeah. very soon. Yeah. Does yeah. that get yeah. you to be involved? Of course in it does. Yeah, of course. Um, like I say, I'm, I'm always ready. You know, I was given two weeks' notice on this one. Um, I'm always fit. You know, um, I'm always doing my road work, always running. It shows me fights as well. Where, you know, I'm not just I'm not a heavyweight. You'll just stand there and. Wait for punches to be thrown and what have you. Volume I'm, puncher, isn't it? Pardon? You're a volume puncher, isn't Yeah, just, just go for it, you know. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a nice I'm a nice lad outside the ring, but when you get in there, I'm going to take your head off as much as I can, you know what I mean? I don't want to hurt you, and then I'll say thanks at the end of it, you know what I mean? But, boss, mate, I was made up and say, Paul, um, Paul coaching everyone on his own there, nothing like a triangle. The gym is flying at the moment. Got Peter McGrail winning. Uh, Winning European gold, to go in the world, doing what he's on there, unbelievable. You know, it's the gym. It's, it's shown not just with me, with everyone in the, in the gym as well. You know, and everyone is flying in the gym. The work that Paul and Nick do at the have done in over the years is class. One thing I like about them guys is the consultation they have with each and every one of their fighters after their fight. Sort of. I've been quite privileged to see and watch a couple of them where I've been in the changing room, haven't they? Very experienced guys, very good yeah, at what they do. Yeah. I'm, I'm probably, as a pro, I'm the least experienced, you know, but I'm the oldest in the gym, and uh, hopefully, I'm a bit more, I'm the, I'm the quietest one in the gym, to be honest with you. Uh, like I said last time, I had a couple of divvies, and Quigley's and Steve Lewis are the divvies in the gym, you know what I mean? But Steve Lewis always makes the coffees in the mornings, you know, who's the score, like. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the main event. WBO heavyweight world champion Joseph Parker defending against you and Fury. Quite nice for yourself have to have an opinion of being a heavyweight as well. How do you see that fight playing out? Um, I think um, I think it's going to go the distance. And I think um, Fury is going to come out and point to things. I think Fury's going to um, outbox him. I think uh, Parker's going to come forward and I think he's just going to try and pick him up. Off. He, uh, hopefully, I've, I've, not, I've not met neither of them yet, like, but they both come across nice fellas, so hopefully, uh, hopefully he wins, you know what I mean? Eng 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 English lad, get a bone, you know what I mean? Is that, it's great to get you on the channel. Thanks, thanks, just say thank you to the sponsors. You've yeah, got about get them on the channel. Yeah. Get them in. Thank you very much to every one of them.
honest to God. I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now if I wasn't It's such a big difference for boxing, especially when you're starting out to get that help, that sponsorship oh. and that support. So, yeah. well done to each and every yeah. person so in the future. Live on my own as well, you know what I mean? So I wouldn't be able to, um, yeah. wouldn't be able to box and pay more and stuff if it wasn't for... These, these aren't just like people that just help me out. These are family and friends. and. It's best to get someone who like believes in me, you know what I mean? I've got a couple of good couple of sponsors and I've got a box background, family as well. Oh, boss like made up to get that second one in out the way. And uh I'll enjoy tonight now, watch the watch the boxing. Enjoy your evening, thank you very much. James, we'll see you in your time.